In this tutorial, we'll walk you through 7 basic effects in Premiere Pro. Gaussian Blur Go to the Effects window Find the Gaussian Blur effect and add it to the video by double clicking or dragging The Effect Controls tab contains all the settings for the applied effects In our effect, we can change the blurriness level and change its direction from horizontal to vertical with this effect, you can perfectly select objects in the frame with a mask. Press this button to manually create a mask. And select the object that we need. Great, our mask is created. In this mode, the effect is applied inside the mask. By choosing inverted it will be applied outside of the mask. You can find out more about working with masks in our tutorial on this topic. For the best effect, you can adjust the mask feather. Sharpen Find the Sharpen effect and double click on it Since two videos were selected, the effect was applied to both at once The effect itself gives the picture sharpness And it looks cool when used with small values At higher values, the picture becomes very grainy with such distortion effects, you can create creative transitions. In the project window, right click. New item. Adjustment layer. The settings must match the settings of the sequence. Place the adjustment layer above the two videos stitching together. And add the sharpen effect to it. Divide the layer so that we can draw the mask on the first video. Let's make a mask so that the effect is applied only to the car now. Slice the frame by frame layer and remove the excess part. In this frame, the effect can be applied without a mask. He does not touch black areas. Here we also cut the sequence one frame at a time. Select one frame later and place it on another layer. 
turning it off with this button or delete. This way we get an interesting base for the transition. Shimmering elements in two different frames perfectly tie them together and make the transition more interesting. Such dynamic transitions, it is better to do it under the appropriate sound design. Corner Pin A very simple and useful tool that will definitely come in handy in your work. We have two feet. On the first, a person works at a computer. And on the second, the recording of an extraneous monitor. By superimposing one image on top of another, no matter how hard we try to change the size, position and other parameters, we will not be able to integrate it. Now let's go to the effects tab and find the corner pin. Further in the effect settings, by changing the value, the position of the image in space changes. You can also select the effect and manually set it on the viewing monitor. Let's render by pressing the enter button. Great, now the corners of the image are aligned with the monitor. Posterize time. Its function is to change the number of frames in the video. This video was shot at 24 frames per second. Let's add the posterize time effect to it. Increasing the number of frames, there will be no changes. Since the original video has its own frame rate. But if you change it down, you can immediately see the lack of frames in the video. Experimenting with this effect can lead to interesting results. Lens Flare By adding this effect to the video, we can see that there is an artificial lens flare. This effect is responsible for this. By opening its settings, we can control its brightness. Select the type of flare and the level of mixing with the original. The easiest way to use this effect is in a still frame or with little camera movement. Otherwise, no coincidence in the movement of the light source and the movement of the camera will give such a deceptive effect. Crop In the window with effects, select Crop, and we add it to the video. In the settings, we see the ability to crop video from each of the four sides.
Great, now we can place this video in the frame as we need it. Now we are doing the following video by the same principle. Thanks to this effect, you can place multiple videos in one frame. Or make a cinematic porch, as you saw in the preview for this tutorial. Strobe light. We have such a beautiful video with interesting light. Let's add an effect to it, strobe light. It creates shimmers. Let's figure out its settings. Here we select the color that will be used. Then we set the level of mixing with the original. And the duration. There is also an opportunity to set random blinking. Also, you can change the blending modes. This effect has great potential for application. By changing colors and settings, we can get different and beautiful options. Replicate A very simple but popular effect today. We add it to the video. He has only one item in the settings. This is the number of copies of the video. Using the keys, you can make the effect of a step-by-step -step increase in copies, 